Hi kids, welcome to Dixie Storytime World. There's a Diplodocus at the door by Alexei Bitskov and Ruth Simmons. Diplodocus was a giant plant-eating dinosaur with a super long neck and tail. He lived around 150 million years ago, many millions of years before the first humans appeared. But just imagine if Diplodocus was alive today, how would he cope with modern life? What if Diplodocus went to a restaurant? Diplodocus was a vegetarian, so he would order a big plate of salad. But with his long neck, Diplodocus could reach all the other tables. He could eat everything in sight without even moving his feet. Diplodocus had terrible table manners. He never chewed his food. He just swallowed leaves whole. What if Diplodocus had a tummy ache? He might gobble up some stones to make him feel better. Lots of plant-eating dinosaurs swallowed stones. That's because they didn't chew their food. Instead, stones inside their tummies helped to grind up the leaves they ate. What if Diplodocus needed a shower? Diplodocus wouldn't fit in your shower but he might just fit in a car wash. Diplodocus was 27 metres long. That's the length of three buses. What if Diplodocus used my loo? Ooh, one Diplodocus poo would fill up the whole toilet. Ask him to go in the garden instead. Diplodocus poo was full of nutrients that would help the plants to grow. What if Diplodocus lived in the garden? He'd eat all of the plants, even the prickly ones. So watch out for your mum's prize rose. But he'd help collect leaves in autumn. His peggy teeth would act just like a rake. What if Diplodocus went to the zoo? He'd be the biggest and heaviest of all the animals. Diplodocus's neck was three times longer than a giraffe's. That's six meters long. Diplodocus weighed twice as much as the largest elephant. That's 12 tons. A zebra is just half the height of Diplodocus, but their heads are the same size. What if Diplodocus went to a firework display? Diplodocus wouldn't worry about the noise. He could be just as loud himself. When he cracks his tail like a whip, it can be heard 10 kilometers away. Diplodocus used this noise to scare away predators, but he was too big for most dinosaurs to attack anyway. What if Diplodocus had a birthday party? Diplodocus could live to be 100 years old. That's a lot of candles to blow out. What if Diplodocus needed a job? Diplodocus would be very useful on a building site. If he reared up on his hind legs, he could reach almost 10 metres up. That's about three storeys high. Look at this Diplodocus skeleton. Everything we know about Diplodocus comes from fossils. Skeletons that have been in the ground for thousands and thousands of years. This means we know lots about dinosaurs, even though no one has ever seen one. The end. Thank you for listening and learning. I'll see you soon in the next video. And always remember to be good and kind. Bye for now.